This is Domingo with you today from the Galaxy S8 phone and today we're going to show you how to use YouTube Creator Studio's mobile app. So we're going to enter into the Creator Studio and you have your dashboard that you see here currently. So it shows your channel name on the top, subscribers and the subscribers on the right. It shows your notifications on the top right corner of the screen and your analytics at a glance. So here are also the videos that I've made here and then you can also click view more to view more and then there's your comments where you can see all the comments on your recent videos and you can click on view more here to as what it says view more comments. I know don't want to view all those comments so we're just gonna press back so then let's access the other menu. You press the three lines here on the top left and then it shows dashboard, videos, playlists, comments, analytics and it goes straight to the YouTube app, your settings, you can send feedback, and there's also the help button. So we'll go to the videos button just to show you what videos there are. And these are the videos that I currently have uploaded. And then you can also sort them by most recent. And then you can go sort them by most viewed, which we're going to do. So my most viewed video is how to use Paint 3D. And then there's a list of other videos to follow. So then you press the three lines again, we'll go to playlists, and then it shows all the created playlists that you have made. And that way it will be organized and also your subscribers will see it. So then you can also go into comments, which we just were in, and then you can quickly thumb up comments, heart comments, and then reply, thanks. And then you press the reply button and there you go. So you can manage your content and comments very carefully. And you can also sort comments by published, held for review, so these are the comments that are held for review, and the way that you approve the comments is you press on the check mark, and then it'll give you the option to approve it. And then you sort out the comments, and then also likely spam, so these are likely spam comments that you see. And these are the ones that you have to approve or disapprove. So to basically get rid of a spam comment, you press the garbage can and then you remove it. There we go. And I have a few other comments that I have to get rid of there, but we'll do that later. Now your analytics are very important. It shows your analytics, obviously. So this is an overview of your analytics and then it shows you your view duration, estimated revenue, subscribers, and how to use paint. And then you can go to revenue, where it looks at all your revenue if you are a partner. Discovery, where you're getting discovered. So I mostly discovered through YouTube search, through Google search, and the top search for my YouTube is Paint 3D, how to use Sweatcoin and Amazon Mechanical Turk. And then the top video suggesting my content is how to replace a Fitbit Charge HR bracelet. And then, a lot of these are related to the videos that I've made. And then the audience that I have here, I mostly have male audience members and then a certain percentage of females. The highest demographic of people within the age ranges of 18 to 24. And I mostly have people from the United States, view me, USA, but not enough from Canada. I don't know why Canadians don't like watching me because I am Canadian. And then I have videos that have no subtitles and then they're mostly English and that sort of thing. And then interactive content, it's where you make interactive content and also like your cards or your annotations. And then your playlists, the number of times engaging your playlist. Nope, not gonna do that. Time's not up yet. What are you doing? And then we will go from there. And then it takes you straight to the YouTube app as well. And then your settings, and then you get notifications, push notifications, and then you go send feedback. And then it takes you to a feedback window saying this, please allow more uh, content. So you can send feedback to YouTube and then there's the help button and then it says thank you for the feedback, thank you. And then you can switch your channels at the speed of light. And you can go to manage accounts where you can manage your accounts and then you can swap back and forth. So that is generally how to use the YouTube Studio mobile app. So hopefully this video was helpful. Have a great day and Happy New Year. We'll see you next time. Stop it right there.